All right, Robert here. Uh, you're looking at a Kimball uh, vertical piano um, in a Victorian style. Um, just a quick look over a few minutes ago. It appears to be from the period maybe 1880s to to around 1900. You can see that Kimball Chicago. It still has the original ivory keys. Um, a little dusty from storage, but We'll take care of that as uh, restoration gets underway here. There's a few chips on them, but real nice color, consistent, lighter color on them. And when cleaned up, polish it should come out fine. See some of the artwork here. These pianos aren't as popular as they used to be, but, you know, as a family heirloom, they, they're pretty, uh, pretty worthwhile to do a restoration on. You see the artwork down the leg and uh, if I can open it up here um, something that's pretty interesting that, that uh, you see on the Victorian pianos more than um, anything else would be this open face pin block here you notice the pin block is actually exposed Whereas the uh, in the changeover to uh, modern era piano making, the uh, plate or gold frame, this gold frame you see here, it would be in this area where you'd actually have holes where the tuning pins would go through into the pin block. But here, you're looking right at the pin block here. You can see here. So uh, when this piano is finished up, all this stuff is going to be replaced. New finish. Um, new strings, new everything. But uh, I did want to give a quick intro. I have not run the serial number on this yet to give a date. But I uh, did want to give a quick intro on this piano. Just keep a lookout for some more. Some more coming up. Um, and uh, if you have any comments or anything, uh, Beaver's Piano uh, TV on YouTube.com. You can post a comment right below the video you're looking at. Or you can go to um, twitter.com at Beavers Piano to post comments. And I usually respond pretty quick there if you have any questions. And I have a forum, pianos.proboards.com, that you can uh, post some stuff there. I've got a few technical articles you can look at there. So keep an eye out. You see some more stuff on this one and several others that I'm working on right now. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.